The following segment is sponsored by the Nancy Thomas Gallery. It is a gorgeous day in Norfolk today. We are on West 45th Street at the Nancy Thomas Gallery and we're gonna go inside and see all the wonderful works of art. Ready? Let's go. Hello there, I'm Christy Michael. And today we are in Norfolk. We have ventured out to the Nancy Thomas Gallery. I've been waiting so long to come see all your oh. beautiful art pieces. And how are you, Nancy? I'm pretty good. How long have you been painting? Well, I've actually probably been painting my whole life. Yeah. Because I can remember as a little girl doing a comic strip called Lettucey and Carroty. Isn't that clever? Lettucey <laughs> and Carroty. Oh, like <laughs> lettuce and carrots. Oh. And it was about lettuce and carrot. It's been a, a thrum throughout my whole life. Mm -hmm. But it didn't really pick up until the 80s. Yeah. And then that's when I got serious about it. Well, how, how would you describe your artwork? It's whatever I'm feeling at the moment. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of it goes back to my childhood memories. And then it kind of evolves as I paint. So you are nationally known. Yes. And you been in designer books. I heard you even have an ornament at the White House. I have several. How did that happen? Well, the Museum of American Folk Art in New York, they were just opening. And so the White House contacted them and wanted to decorate their Christmas tree with homemade ornaments. Mm -hmm. So naturally they contacted me. Mm. And I remember the uh, director of the museum called me and she said, you're going to be getting a phone call that's gonna shock you, and it's from the White House. Oh my. And I did get a phone call, and they said, this is the White House calling, and I was fainted. <laughs> that you did. They wanted 150 of my ornaments to decorate the tree. The second time I went there, they were doing the parks, all the park services around the country. They, the uh, super, superintendent asked me to do an ornament for Yorktown mm. to go on the tree. So I did that, and once again went up to, to the White House. It was really a wonderful experience. It was. It's quite a unique experience yes. as well. So this is by Mary Elliser Emerling. She was the editor for a while at Mademoiselle, and then she left there and opened her own gallery in New York. Every piece of my artwork was what she opened with. I mean, this was all new to me. It was all happening. And in a way, it was happening to Mary, too. When she contacted the New York Times, they came over and did a story on me, put my picture in the New York Times. Let's take a look at your angels here. What happened with these angels? They look very familiar to me. I think I've seen them somewhere before. Well, they've been everywhere. <laughs> the people from the movie Tootsie came over to the gallery, Mary's gallery, and picked out 35 pieces of my artwork and put it in the movie in Jessica Lang's apartment. So if you watch the movie Tootsie, you will see yes. Nancy Thomas' yes, artwork, will. her beautiful angels. So this has definitely changed your life. How has it impacted you? I became well-known, which is an unusual thing for me. Mm -hmm. And I met the most wonderful people. Marcel Desagne, who was one of the owners of the trellis, he did a book, which I illustrated for him. He had a TV show, and I decorated the whole set for him. It just opened many doors. Hot. So is it true that you were commissioned to paint the official painting for Julia Child's 90th birthday? Yes, it was. How did that come about? Well, that came about probably through the Food Network. They called me and commissioned me to do it. So are you going, what? Like when you're no, on the phone or you're just, oh, okay, another, to... <laughs> another big event. <laughs> but I did decide to go to San Francisco to, to be there mm -hmm. and to present it to her. Julia was pretty, yeah, she was pretty lively. Are you still painting? I haven't painted for a while. I took a break and Hunter bought the business from me. Which Your was, daughter? Yes which was the best thing that could ever happen to me. Do you have any words of wisdom for inspiring or upcoming artists or even older artistic people that have been thinking about actually getting more involved in painting or creating? Well, I've always believed that everyone can paint. Everyone can. They just don't believe it. And I think that everyone who has a little sense of wanting to try something, they should do it and go with it. And I have a lot of friends who've retired and all of a sudden they started painting. It's just wonderful what happens. Mm -hmm. Transforms 
Well, Nancy, it's been such a pleasure talking with you. Thank you. And I hope you're enjoying your retirement. I am, very much. All right, well, we're going to check in with your daughter, Hunter Thomas, and find out more about your gallery. Okay. All right, thank you so much. Thank you. We are in the main gallery right now at the Nancy Thomas Gallery with her daughter, Hunter. Hi. Okay, so you have taken over the gallery now. Your mother's retired. She retired in 2017. Correct. Mm -hmm. So what's been going on? Well, when she first retired, we she sold the property in Yorktown and closed the gallery that had been there for, golly, you know, since 1982, you know, a long, long time. Mainly my memories are just, again, all the art that was, she had us making paper dolls and she had us um, doing modeling clay towns, you know, just to keep us occupied forever and ever. And one of my favorite things is when I was a little, little girl, I had painstakingly drawn this crow and um, it was over a house and everything. And I think in my little tiny five-year-old memory, I think I must have gotten up for something and it twirled the paper around and I didn't know it. And when I came back to actually draw the crow, it was upside down. And I remember crying like, oh, really, really? and my mom turned it into this wonderful thing. She said, no, 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 that's the upside down crow. And she had me paint it. I think I had to have been younger because I remember sitting in a high chair painting the body and the head it's just those vague memories when you're little mm -hmm. that ultimately ended up being the name of my gallery in virginia beach back in the 90s no, yeah so cool i mean it's, it's just stayed with me i used to earn my money in high school um, before i got a job job painting her some of her little thing you know some of the ornaments that she was selling all over the country at that time oh. and she would not pay me good work ethic she would not pay me until they were finished she goes into the artist phase, but I'm always amazed to watch it. It's just, it's magical. And I am biased, but as I've gotten older, I've really, really started appreciating what it was like to grow up with an artist. This was our break room and I painted it and decorated it. And it just came alive because anywhere, I mean, I'm a little biased, but anywhere Nancy Thomas' art is, it I pops will vote for that becomes, too. you know. All the color is it's just know. fabulous. It's just, it's just magical to me. And, and this is not just all your mom, right? No, we. I'm kind of carrying on her tradition, which she did in Yorktown. She launched a lot of other artists' careers. So she would always find other, um, you know, new artists and kind of give them a show. And um, so we're continuing that here. I mean, I'd love, I want to reach out more to artists locally and actually across the country, and we have, we do feature them. Do you want to encourage local artists to get in touch with you? Please do. I would really like to represent a wide variety of, of artists in all mediums, too. So tell us about the Facebook Live. Facebook Lives have been fun. They were, of course, born out of COVID-19, which so many things were. They were a, a real hit. We actually call them the Stir Crazy Social Hour. So we would do it for one hour, and people were, would tune in, or do still tune in, and same kind of thing they we'd say you know oh what's that back there what's that what's that and then mm -hmm. we walk around that's um, a great idea yeah it was so much fun it's so much fun so do you have any upcoming events planned well we do i'm going to carry on the tradition that my mom set you know for many years We're, we'll always do a spring show and a um, holiday show so those are two kind of anchor shows we'll do all the time uh, we want other artists to come and talk to us just seek us out because there's so many of them out there, you know, and we would love to do some group shows. And I mean, Norfolk is really exploding with um, all the different art and murals and the, you know, the neon district. And I definitely want to be a part of that. We want to do a paint night here, but we're going to kick it up a notch and we want to do a virtual paint night. Mm -hmm. So it'd be, you know, it would be actually kind of funny to see because everyone will have on their Oculus and, you know, do it look like interpretive dance, oh, you know, true. but then somehow be able to, you can, if you've, I've done some virtual painting and you can actually make it into a, a real piece. Hunter, you have so much going on, so tell us your website. All right, it's nancythomasgallery.com. We are also, of course, on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. Twitter. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. All right, well, thank you so much. You're just a pleasure to talk to you and your mother.